In this lab, you will use a column to separate unknowns based on the size of the compound. You will need to obtain a prepared P4 gel column, your unknown mixture, ammonium acetate buffer solution, and a well plate with at least 20 wells. Begin by running about 10 milliliters of your buffer through the column to make sure that it is clean. Do not worry about the intervals between the drops at this point. While this is running, prepare your well plate. You'll be collecting fractions in about 0.8 milliliter parts, and it will help to put a pre-measured amount of liquid in the first well. This will help you judge the size of the fractions to collect. Before the gel runs dry, close the stopcock and add a half milliliter of your unknown. Now you will begin to collect fractions. Make sure you catch all of the drops and keep your fractions evenly sized. When the gel is about to go dry again, add more buffer to the column. Do this without disturbing the gel. You will need to keep the height of the buffer near the same point during the entire lab for the column to run properly. You will want the column to drip about 5 drops every 30 seconds. Once you have collected 20 fractions, run another 10 milliliters of buffer through the column to clean it. You do not need to save this. Use the UV Vis spectrometer with the absorbance set to 280 nanometers to determine which fractions contain your unknown. Combine like fractions and use the Rotovap to evaporate the solution. Use deuterated methanol as your NMR solvent. Ask your instructor or TA for deuterated methanol. It is important to use this and not chloroform because your unknown will not dissolve in chloroform. Use a glass pipette to add the deuterated methanol to an NMR tube containing your sample. Or you can add it directly to the round bottom flask containing your unknown and transfer that into an NMR tube. Then use two or three drops from your NMR tube to submit a GCMS sample. Remember to use regular methanol to dilute the GCMS sample. Do not use deuterated methanol.